Hello everyone. Hope you are doing good. So, how is the weather outside? Is it windy or calm? Cloudy or bright? You must have observed frequent changes in the weather conditions. But why? Why does it fluctuate so often within a day? Why it is hot and uncomfortable in the month of May? And why it rains in June and July? You will get answer of all these questions in this chapter. So let's start our today's class on the topic climate. Weather and climate are the two words that people often use as a synonym. But they have different meanings. So let's see the differences between weather and climate. Weather is the day-to-day -day atmospheric condition of a small area and at a particular point of time. While defining weather, I used the word day-to-day. -day. It means weather is not same every day. For example, today's weather is different from yesterday's. It is always used to describe atmospheric conditions of a small area. For example, Andruskanj in Delhi, Nirjuli in Arunachal Pradesh or the small area where you live. One thing to remember is that it specifies atmospheric conditions of a particular point of time. As you know, it fluctuates very often within a day. For example, it may be sunny at 2 p.m. and there can be rainfall at 4 p.m. You must have observed this. Now let us learn about climate. Climate is the sum total of weather conditions of a larger area and for a longer period of time. Let me elaborate it for you. What I said, it is sum total of weather conditions. It means here we find out what average, average weather conditions of a longer period of time. That is more than 30 years. If you go back to the definition of climate, you will notice that the term Climate is used to describe atmospheric condition of a large area. For example, India, Sri Lanka or any other country. Hope this is clear to you. Let us conclude what you learnt about weather and climate. First one, weather is about day-to-day -day changes in the atmosphere, whereas climate is average weather conditions. Second point, weather is atmospheric condition of a small area whereas climate is average weather conditions of a large area. Third point, weather is atmospheric condition of a small area at a particular point of time whereas climate is average weather conditions of a longer period of time that is more than 30 years. I hope you got all the points. Did you notice a common word which I used to define both weather and climate that is atmospheric condition. It refers to the state of atmosphere in terms of temperature, air pressure, wind, humidity and precipitation. They are called elements of weather and climate. Any ideas what type of climate India has? India has monsoon type of climate. The word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mosim which means season. Do you know, monsoon is also an example of seasonal wind? Why it is known as seasonal wind? 
because it changes its direction in different season. For example, in monsoon season, it blows in southwest direction. Whereas, in withdrawal of monsoon season, it blows in northeast direction. I hope this is clear to you. Despite an overall unity in the general pattern, there are regional variations in the climatic conditions within the country. For example, in summer, the temperature rises to 50 degrees Celsius in some parts of the Rajasthan desert, whereas it may be around 20 degrees Celsius in Pahalgam in Jammu and Kashmir. On a winter night, temperature at Dras in Jammu and Kashmir may be as low as minus 45 degrees Celsius. Tiruvananthapuram, on the other hand, may have a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. Let us now look at precipitation. There are variations not only in the form and types of precipitation but also in the amount and the seasonal distribution. For example, while precipitation is mostly in the form of snowfall, in the upper parts of Himalayas, it rains over the rest of the country. The annual precipitation varies from over 400 cm in Meghalaya to less than 10 cm in Ladakh and western Rajasthan. Most parts of our country receives rainfall in June to September, you know very well. But some parts like Tamil Nadu coast gets a large portion of its rain during October and November. I hope this much is clear to you. So children, we end today's class here. In the next class, we will continue with climatic controls. Do subscribe my channel to get notifications about upcoming videos. Thanks a lot.